Hey everyone, it's nice to catch you up on another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply discounts only once per customer. If you're wondering how to do so, no problem, I've got you covered. To do this, we're going to be using a WooCommerce coupon with a null value, zero value and integrate it with rules created by our discount rules plugin. I'm going to be using this plugin which is simple and easy to use and I'm sure this is going to be a deal breaker for all of us. To begin this, you will have to first log into your WooCommerce store and then I'm going to walk you through it step by step. First, we'll have to create a WooCommerce coupon with zero value. So to do this, let's go to marketing. Under marketing, you'll be able to find coupons. Here you have your opportunity to create a new coupon. To create one, you'll have to simply click on add coupon button, which will ask you for the configuration. You can start off by entering a coupon code name here. Or in fact, auto generate a coupon code by clicking on this generate coupon code button. So let me just go with the name for our better understanding. I'm going to be using test case 10 is my coupon name. After you have entered the coupon name, you can also give your own description here. Then comes the coupon data, which is basically the configuration of the coupon. The first one is general. You can decide the discount type that you're willing to offer through this particular coupon. But since this is a null valued coupon, I don't think you'll have to worry about it. And then comes the coupon amount. Remember to keep this zero because we are creating a zero valued coupon here. All right, great. Then the rest of the things that are available are for your use. If you prefer to use them, you can just go ahead and make use of them, such as allow free shipping. So this will allow free shipping along with the discount that's applied. In case you want to set a coupon expiry date, that's also fine. And then moving on to usage restrictions, you have a lot of options that you can try out. But since this is about one time usage per customer, I'm going to avoid all of that. And then move to usage limits, which is an important segment in this video. As you can see on the screen, you have two different options to limit your usage. The first one is per coupon and the second one is per user. So for this scenario, we're going to be using one time per user coupons, which is personalized coupon. So let me just enter usage limit per user to one here. That is it. It's simple and easy to configure. Now simply publish this particular coupon that you've created using WooCommerce. A null valued coupon is to be remembered. Right. Once we have created our coupon, we can simply use it in our discount rules plugin to create our personalized discount rules. All right. I have already installed the discount rules plugin on my site. So I'm going to go to WooCommerce and then to discount rules dashboard where you'll be able to create your own personalized rules. And an added advantage, you can use the coupon that we have created just now with an usage limit to one time per user. To do this, let me just start by clicking on this button, add new rule. The deal that we're trying to make here is a 20% store-wide discount in a specific category which is activated only with a usage of a coupon that is limited to one time per user all right so we have already created the coupon so now it's time for us to integrate it with the rule that we're going to create let's first create the rule by entering a title i'm going to call this 20 percent off on accessory All right. After you have entered the rule title, it's important for you to choose a discount type by clicking on this drop down menu and you'll be able to find a variety of options. But according to the scenario we have discussed, I'm going to be using product adjustment rule. And here in the filter, we get to decide the products that are eligible for the discount. So you may have to click on the drop down menu here and select the specific filter that you're trying to apply. But according to the scenario that we've discussed, I'm going to be selecting a category. Enlist and not enlist is to decide if you want to include or exclude them. I'm going to include them. So I'm going to select enlist. And then here we will have to list our category, which is accessories. Right. After we've included the category, next comes the discount type. You can choose the discount type and its value. I said earlier, I'm going to make use of a percentage discount with 20% value and there we go. Here are other few options that you may want to explore but which is not necessary for this video. So let's just 
skip and move to conditions. This is an important part because this is where we integrate the null valued coupon that we have created in WooCommerce. So let's just click on add condition and then select coupons here. Now, after you select coupons in the condition, you have select coupon buy, right? So here in the drop down menu, you can choose the coupon that we have created from WooCommerce. So you have this option called apply if any one coupon is applied. I'm going with this because we have created just one coupon and that's going to be applicable for this rule. In case you have many other coupons, then you can just go for the third option. I'm going to go for the second one as said. And then here you can search the coupon that you have created in WooCommerce. Yes, so here we can find it. Now the created coupon in WooCommerce will be listed here if you select this option. Nice. Select the coupon that you want to apply. That's all. We have successfully configured the discount rule plus integrated the one-time use coupon that we have created in WooCommerce. Now let's save. To see how this works, I'm going to take you to my storefront and show you what happens when we add a coupon to cart. All you have to do is enter products that belong to the accessories category. Let me go with this one and this one. All right. Now we're going to enter the one-time personalized coupon to our cart, which is test case 10. Click apply and you'll be able to see that a discount is successfully applied. Right. Now upon placing the order, upon this customer placing the order, the coupon will go to the use status and hence he won't be able to use the same coupon again in his orders. So let me just go ahead, place the order and show you how it reflects on the back end. Here we go. This person has now shopped using the coupon test case 10, which is a one time use coupon. So if you go to the coupons tab, which is under marketing and refresh it, you'll be able to see that the usage limit is updated, right? From zero, it has gone to one. That is it. This means that the coupon is already used by the customer and hence, the same customer will not be able to use the coupon again. To test that, we will also go to the cart. And now, we go to the cart page and then with a product that you have on mind and enter the same coupon, test case 10, you'll be able to see that it's no more applicable because the coupon usage limit has been reached. Right. That is how it works. With this simple method, you can create one-time personalized coupon for your customers. How great is that? I hope this was helpful for you. If you and keep watching our videos and subscribe to our channel. See you in another video.